All right, my friends, I'm tinkering around, engineering on my wood chipper tow bar today. Now, you know we got it fixed where we can lean it over and hook it in this bracket right here. But it, I'll show you, in case you haven't seen the other video. Just hook that right in that bracket there and put a pin in here. Okay, look down there. You see that recoil starter near that tow bar? That's what concerns me. All right, let's say I get careless one day when I'm leaning it over or it tips over and falls and I don't get it hooked in here. Well, this be an adjustable. It would tip right on over and this angle bar would hit that recoil starter and damage it. Well, I thought about some elaborate system of building a bumper on here, bolting it on there, welding a bracket, and I can do that. Or a bolt with a spring in it. I could build a flat bracket coming out with a bolt coming up through here. But, I wonder if I can't get by and right now with a block of wood put right there. That's what we're going to try. Can't find a hose clamp big enough, so right now we're just going to hook it on here with this. Let's go with uh, two hose clamps to start with. Uh, zip ties, I mean. Two. Now let's put the block of wood right on top of that bolt. better the hose clamp. I want to keep it on this side. And I imagine a hose clamp around there would be much more stronger. But it's just a safety precaution. I might not ever drop it. But if I do, I want that block of wood to catch it. Okay. It stops it in time. I'm going to slide my zip tie down. I can see that right now. That most likely would prevent the thing from being damaged, but I need my block of wood on there more permanent than that. I could bolt the wood to the bracket, and then when it raises up, it would hit the pipe that way. As soon as I get me a couple of hose clamps, I believe that'll hold that booger right where I want it. It's only a safety precaution. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with for right now, where I can continue with my project. I feel a little more at ease with a bumper on there. There's several ways I could attach a bracket to keep it from falling all the way over. I could put something out here on the tongue to catch it, but that would just be in the way. Block of wood doesn't interfere with my regular towing. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Just about the point where I can take the tow bar off of the machine, drag it out and grind it down smooth, do a little wire brush and paint it up. Grease the axle and put it back together. Got to do my pin though. Forgot about that. Got to do my pin right here. Here's a tedious task. 
I'm in the basement. I was looking for other items when it occurred to me it's been some time since I updated windows on my laptop down here. So I've been doing that for the last hour or two, coming and going, working on my project out there. Looks like I'm almost caught up and then I'll have to update my uh, my Norton antivirus, make sure I got all that took care of. It's been a while since I've used this laptop. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it down here or bring it back upstairs and go back to using it mobile. I don't use it down here very much, so I'm probably going to take it back to the computer room so when I go somewhere I'll have a laptop to take with me. I use uh, Windows 8. I never did update 8.1 and I don't think I will. I don't really like 8 or 8.1. I'm still using Windows 7 on my computer upstairs. That's what I'm used to, but over the years, uh, when I first started doing computers, we were using MS-DOS. Many of my viewers might not even know what MS-DOS is, but you have to type commands in here to get the computer to do what you wanted to do. Well, Windows takes advantage of using DOS and fixes it where it's much more simple for the average layman can use it. And then it seems like we had, I might forget one or two, but we had Windows 3.1 come out. Windows XP. Uh, I don't know, there's been several versions of Windows came out. Every couple of years they updated. So maybe you'll buy a new computer. And back when the first Windows came out, they had a file cabinet you could keep your programs in. Everything's been simplified. Nowadays, I think Windows is trying to copy Apple computer or something. I don't like Windows 8.1 or 8. Now they're trying to get me to go with Windows 10. I guess I'm old and resistant to change. All right, computer, let's start. All you're doing is twirling around and around. My workbench down here is kind of dusty. I'll show you something I use on my laptop here. I despise this stupid little pad. Can't stand it. You gotta work the, them little buttons to do your mouse on a laptop. So I got this wireless keyboard. This takes a little pin light battery and this wireless mouse. And I use it. A little bit extra trouble to tote it around, but you ain't sitting here frustrating yourself all to death trying to move that cursor around. Some of the young people are dexterous. They have enough dexterity that they don't even notice it. But I'm used to the old fashioned way. I started out typing on a vice. I believe, no, not Vice. Vice was my typing teacher. That was her name. Anyway, I started out, I learned how to type on a manual typewriter. I took typing in high school in the 10th grade, and I never regretted it. At that time, it was all girls in the class, and that made it even more interesting. But, um, nowadays, most men can type. Back then, it was kind of sissified, uh, learn how to type and I never did type as fast as them girls some of them were typing 70 80 words a minute on a manual typewriter I think I might have made it up to 50 words a minute but it was a credit earned in high school that helped me graduate and I learned something in the process getting windows ready do not turn off your computer no, I wouldn't do that. I might not ever get the dang thing started again. Anyway, I got my little bumper made on my tow bar hitch out there. 